Usher and Tamika are back in the headlines. Tamika Raymond is here to give us her side. Plus, we're gonna show you how to make some super cute snacks for Santa. Who doesn't love Merry Munchies, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. And later, there's nothing wow. like a little extra cash during the holidays. So we're sending someone in our audience home a thousand dollars richer. Yeah. We play Very Merry Money Drop. A thousand dollars. Amazing. All right, let's kick things off with a little girl chat, shall we? I'm loving this. I know, right? It's a finally hat. the most wonderful time of the year, and as you can see, we are very excited to be celebrating the holidays here at the Real. Can we talk about how amazing the set looks? And we even have the real North Pole mailbox over there. Yes. 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 You guys think anybody wrote to us yet? Yeah. yeah I think so. so. Girl, it's Christmas. Go check it out. Did you guys write yet? I'm gonna find out. Did you Let write check a letter? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see. We do have mail. Yay! Yay. From Houston, Texas, who actually watches us on Fox 26 in Houston. Me and Tamara actually went and visited them over there. Yes. Yeah. How much love Houston? I do too. Yeah. I love Houston. I love so Houston, nice. Texas. So nice over there. All right, well, she says, I know. It's pretty. I know. Dear ladies of the real, I need advice. My husband has 11 nieces and nephews, and each year we buy all of them gifts. Mm -hmm. My husband and I have been married for three years but we don't have kids yet, so for Christmas, we get nothing from his family. That's Ooh. terrible. Oh. I don't want to cause any drama, but it always bothered me. Should I let them know how I feel, or am I being a Grinch? Love, Stacy. First of all, hey, boo, hey. Hey. <laughs> but I'm trying to understand, though, so if this happened to you, imagine you were in this, this yeah. family situation. Mm -hmm. This happened to you, like, every single Christmas. You wouldn't feel, left like, out. left out at all? No. Me, honestly, no. I I'm gonna be honest, for a while I was on a budget mm -hmm. and I told some of my family, hey, don't get me gifts because I'm saving. I really want to buy a home. I have goals that I. So that and you're not expected to give Everybody knew that I was not giving gifts that year. You see, I come I wrote from a cards place. and I gave everyone a card, but That's I did great. not buy anyone That's gifts. What I'm I was I, on a budget. But I come from a place, like, even if honest. you are on a budget, there are different ways Absolutely. of showing that, hey, I'm appreciative, thank you so much. So that's why I say, hey, I know this sound, sounds cheesy, but my best friend, she, she makes cookies for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's a fun way that that's they awesome. can get back. Really yeah. Or I think just a little, like, card that maybe the kids make, a little can go yeah. a long way. Do you see well, what I'm saying? No, it's what just she, showing them that they're grateful. That's I got all. what you mean. And you yeah. know what? My suggestion to her would be, you and your husband take a Christmas picture and just send it out to them and say, we're making a donation for everybody this year. And then that way, you know, they maybe... They expect nothing. They, yeah. yeah, they won't expect anything. I love you know, that idea. It's, it's, you know, and you donate that way, to a great charity exactly. on behalf of your family members. Exactly. I think that's And then amazing. when they ask, well, we want to give, and say, well, we want to give too. Right. You know, and that's how you do it. Yeah. yeah, but don't you feel like the best part is not so much receiving the gifts, the gift of giving? So, both. I like seeing <laughs> kids open gifts. That, that to me makes me so happy. I can't wait for the day that I have children, and I hear that it's the most incredible feeling to see your kids open So let gifts. me ask you, so you cool with me not giving you your gift this year, because it's for kids, right? <laughs> oh, that's what I She's thought. Oh, honestly, 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 are you sure? You wouldn't notice wait, if you wait, didn't. Wait, do you guys give gifts amongst your friends? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Absolutely. I don't. Me and no. my girlfriends don't exchange gifts. We go to dinner. And that is our gift to one another, is okay, going well, to a I have nice a question. dinner, That's get the your same drinks. Coin, I have a question. Yeah, but the coin is spent on, on an activity and time spent together, not on I, a I candle agree with or, you. you know? Christmas is for children. Yeah. And, you know, me being raised from a single mother, my brother and I had different um, fathers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember, and I still remember this when I was five years old, my mom came to me, she said, Look, this year I don't have enough money for toys, so I'm just gonna have some food, things like that. Christmas Eve, my brother's father came over with gifts for him. And I can remember, at five years old, yeah. he didn't get nothing for me. So... Oh, I'm sorry, Lonnie. Wow. Yes. I'm wow. sorry, that's, that's wrong. That's still, and, and that, see, oh that affects gosh. her to this day. That is wrong. I think that that's... That, oh, Lonnie. And that I can remember as a child. asking him, I said, where's mine? Yeah. And he gave me some T-shirts. Oh. 
Because he didn't forget about me. So do not forget about, the if kids. you have blended families, do not forget about all the children yes. or don't give them anything. So oh, I'm, like, I'm sorry, but I remember that. And yeah. I wanted to make sure that I said that because we deal yeah, with a, a lot of blended families, there. you know, today. And it's like, you know, you can't, yes, you have your children, but if you, you ended up with a baby mama with a bunch of kids, you got to get everybody something. Yeah. So yes. don't do that. I'm sorry, Ronnie. Yes. Well, don't you feel better that you shaded him on national yes. TV? Yes. 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 Now. Yes, yeah. Jerome. <laughs> Rude. And, and I'm still looking for my damn gift. Give me one. <laughs> Thank God for it. I <laughs> get it. No, it it is. It is about the kids. It and is. That's why I never really complain. But I think Stacey's husband needs to have her husband talk to his yeah. family. Because the gifts should come from his siblings, not the kids. Yeah. You know, you yeah. know what the I'm saying? Kid, yeah. The kids are Send innocent. Send me a card. They don't Send know. me a $5 gift card yeah. to yeah. Costco or something. Help me out a little yeah. bit. Or an ornament. Yeah. Ornament like from that. the 99 cent yeah. store. I'm telling you, there's so many people that can relate to that. And I think it's also a wake-up call for people who are in, in blend relationships like myself yeah. that you always, granted, I always make sure I make the extra effort, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Especially because you're you're not their real parent, you know yeah. what I mean? And that you should let them know that they are loved. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, there's probably so many people that have gone through that and felt yeah. that way. But yeah. what happens when you get a gift and you don't like it? Well, okay, I have a story to tell. Ooh. Can you believe I got a story? Yes. Ain't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> you Wonder know, why. JJ. That happened to me. It's my first time in my life last Christmas. I found some really, really cute, uh, um, can I say the design? McQueen rings, and it was oh. not, it wasn't uber expensive. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get my homegirl this, whatever. And it was like a skull, right? Uh -huh. And so <laughs> we were at the table, and she got me a cute little Balenciaga clutch. I was excited. I was like, yes, yeah, she's gonna love my <laughs> gift, girl. <laughs> right? So I was like, oh, here, girl. And she opened it, she was like, yeah. oh, no, 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 baby. I don't do skulls. I said, ooh, what you? But that's hey, a McQueen what? skull. What you mean? She was like, no, no. Mm. I don't do skulls. What? And I was just devastated. Wow. And I was like, oh, okay, I, I'll get you something later. But then I never did, because oh, I forgot. Yeah. It. So, my yeah, question, I used it. My question yeah, to you. I, it, it's not rude. It's, it's she not. just don't use it. No, what? No. She's not going to use it. I know, but. See, I agree with don't. you, Mar. If you're not going to use it, don't accept the gift. But I think that pushback so immediately was a little, a yeah, little. Yeah, she that, thought she was like, uh, 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 uh. Wow, I don't do skulls. I, I would have accepted it and pawned it. Yeah, or, That's what I or you know what? Now, see, when I give gifts, I put the gift receipt in the box. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. it to the Ooh, store and She could have handled it, it on her home. So yeah. you get the money. You get the money oh, back. Yeah. What I do, you guys, is I don't say I love it. If I, you know, if I don't, mm -hmm. I just. Smile, nod, See, and say, rude. thank you. Uh, and then, I no, honestly, I try to justify it. I will try and, like, keep it for a year so to try and like it. <laughs> no, I re-gift. And I then, yeah. if I don't like it, then I give it away to Goodwill. Yeah, I, I give it. I give it, I just give it away to someone who I really, think... really would appreciate it and need it. See, I really love Christmas, so I'm not giving away any of my gifts, even if I don't even like it. if you it. don't like it? No, I keep some. Do you feel, though, that sometimes in your family or friends, you get the same gifts that you don't need anymore? Like, I get so like many robes. I have so many robes. That's like the number one. Robes and Napkins. candles. My mom does stocking stuffers every year, yes. and she gives me the same things in my stocking every year, but I love it. I'm going to tell you what it is. I get some kind of chapstick. Uh -huh. I get some kind of chocolate. I like Ferrero Rocher's. I don't know. That might be fancy, ghetto fancy. I don't know. So I love I it. I love it. The, the crunchy hazelnut. foil. Nut. OK. Yeah. I get like some type of maybe an eyebrow plucker, but like a good one, like Tweezer Man or something. Yeah. I get like girly things, like random nail things stickers. You need. Well, that's a good stuff. Yes. Yes. But it's the same thing every year. I, I look, look forward, forward to, to my like chapstick. That, well, welcome back. Now, if you're not a master chef, you can still make Santa's gig a little easier. <laughs> Think about it. Eating milk and cookies at every house has got to get old. So today, we're going to show you some yummy snacks you can make with your kids that are sure to keep Santa's belly nice and full. Let's make some merry munchies. Yeah. <laughs> you guys of the classic holiday movie, The Grinch. Now, even though these snacks look mean, they're filled with Christmas joy and they're super easy to make. How cute is this? They're look. really cute. They really I are. like to call them Grinchy Grapes. 
Now they're super easy to make. First you get a toothpick. You know these holiday toothpicks that have the little red on top that makes them really cute. And you're gonna start by sticking a little mini marshmallow like this right through all the way to the top. Then you grab a strawberry and you're gonna put it in just like this. Take the green part off obviously. That's the hat. Then you're gonna take a banana coin like this and what slide. What was that, a banana what? A banana coin. coin. It's really just coin. a sliced banana. I was trying coin. to make it sound fancy. You put that through and then you take a green grape like this and you put that right through. It's kind of like making a shish kebab, you know? Yeah. Do you see that? Now this is the fun part. You're gonna take a piping bag filled with chocolate frosting and you're gonna paint a face on the grape. So you're gonna do the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. And there you have it. It's a Grinchy grape. And it's, and it's healthy. Okay, yep. while Santa is the popular one at Christmas, Let's not forget who's responsible for leading his sleigh. <laughs> Rudolph, the red nose right there. And since That's cupcakes eight. are one of my favorite, favorite treats, I decided to marry the two by making some reindeer cupcakes. I love it! I yes. love it. First, use a store box cake mix to make the cupcakes. You're gonna frost them with chocolate frosting. <laughs> okay, Cut down half now. The time. All you have to do is make the reindeer faces. Now, I'm gonna use some pretzels as the antlers, right? Oh, so right. cute, right? A small cookie for Vanilla the face. Wafer. And some small circle-shaped candy to make the eyes, <gasps> like this, right? And we're gonna use some chocolate frosting so we can glue the eyes onto the cookie, like this, right? We're gonna do that, see? So cute! And then, we can't forget Rudolph's nose. So, we're gonna use a red m, m right? How cute and Yummy. simple is that? I love that! See? That's so yummy, Santa! Okay, if you're one of those people who loves Christmas lights, I do, but don't like the hassle of putting them up, here's a sweet treat that will light up your celebration, you guys. I'm making crispy holiday lights! Oh, I love you. that! First, you melt some butter and marshmallows, like I did here, like this. Next, I'm going to stir in some food coloring. That's awesome. Okay, so then you turn it green. Then, so you take some Rice Krispie cereal, and you just stir it into the mix until it all gets coated like this, you guys. You know okay. I want some. I want some, too. Next, I'm going to take my cereal mixture and form it into a light bulb shape. So you just use your fingers, like this and you get a nice little oval shape like this. Once you have your light bulbs, you're going to place them on a licorice vine and set them right down on some wax paper like this to dry. And then, can I get a ho, ho, ho? Yes! Ho, 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 ho. And that is how you make crispy holiday light. Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest is a fashion stylist to the stars who drops truth like it's going out of style on Atlanta X's. Today, she's here to set the record straight in an exclusive interview. Let's hear it for Tamika Raymond. Tamika, don't get comfortable yet because we have a little game that we want you to play with this called Spin the Heel, girl. Okay. You know about yes. that. Go on, don't do girl. it. Yes, donkey boy. Now, when Spin the Heel lands, you got to deliver. Uh -huh. Spin it, girl. Woo! <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Come on, oh. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Watch me. Oh. Oh. Tell these stories. <laughs> I want to know. So please, Dish, when no one is watching, what do you like to do? To sing Beyonce really loud and pretend yeah. like I have her voice. Girl, we yeah. all Beyonce yeah. in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> right. right, it's a dream. Right. Yes. So On the show here, we keep it real. There's okay. news that there's a sex tape possibly out. Could you talk to us about this? I don't really know how or why or if that's possible. You have no idea. Well, hold on, a sex tape with who? It's with uh, her ex-husband, Usher. And let me tell you something, Tamika. <laughs> if I was married to Usher, I would have had a greatest hit sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> hey, Tay Marcos, how would you not sure? sure. <laughs> you didn't see no cameras? That was my husband. Mm -hmm. I trusted him. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we, we traveled a lot. I don't, 
I don't know if someone might have snuck in or housekeeping didn't have a camera set up. You know, so I don't know. I haven't seen it. So I don't know, and, and no one's presented anything to me, so I don't He's know. He's so innocent, look at you, I'm okay? Not, I mean, clearly I'm not innocent, but I haven't seen anything. Well, I just want you to know if there's <laughs> one out there, I'm buying it, so. Oh my God, you better <laughs> not, you, no. I'm, Lonnie is crazy. Oh my God. Right. That's so All bad. right, it's it's bad. Yes, Lonnie, but you crazy. How you can tell somebody in their face you gonna buy this sex thing? You're not buying it. I'm your first crazy. customer, I'm no, sorry. No, you'll be the first real. one sued. No. And you know I'm just kidding with you, That's but okay. I'm not kidding if it's really a one out there. I know, nobody don't want to see me, they want to see him, I That's guess. right, yeah! Ah. Ooh, maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe they could edit me out, I guess. That is Please. hilarious. Y'all are bad. terrible. Uh oh. All right, so Tamika, you've gotten a lot of attention for your work as a celebrity stylist. And I know this firsthand because you style me, Jay-Z, <laughs> Tony. What is your favorite look that you put together besides me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what, I'd have to say your sister. Right. The little silver Richard Tyler number. Oh yeah, you did. Ooh. 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 I, I, I love it. Okay. I totally remember that. Now you started a workshop called Style Theory yes. for up and coming fashionistas. That's right. What can we expect from the workshop? I will teach kind of the steps, step by step, how you get into the business and actually have staying power. Mm. Wow. Love oh, that. Yeah. Nice. So we're kicking it off in January. I'm excited. Uh, congratulations. That is, so excited. Yeah. 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 Thank that you. is awesome. Thank you. Really excited. So. In 2012, I know your son, Kyle, passed away. Yes. And as a result, you started an amazing foundation, Kyle's World. Thank you. I well, did. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Tell so, us about its mission. Well, Kyle was like one of the most amazing people I've ever met. And I'm not saying it because he's my son. Right. Mm -hmm. Just his mind was different. You know, you have that little artistic child. Mm -hmm. He made like 50 YouTube videos that I told him he better take them down. <laughs> and the blessing is that when he passed, he had not taken them down. So they're oh. still up. So the foundation, we are targeting children that also have a love of the arts mm. because that's the first thing that goes out of school. Yeah. yeah. Yes. They cut the art program. Yeah, the like, budgets are cut. Mm -hmm. No more coloring, no more drawing, no more arts. Mm -hmm. So I do summer camps and my goal is to open a school for him. Oh, that, that is awesome. That is wonderful. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Welcome back. We're here with my girl, Tamika Raymond, who's keeping it more than real, y'all. Now, Tamika, since you're a fashion stylist, I know you've outfitted plenty of celebrities for the holidays. I know that, right? Yes, yes you mm -hmm. have. So you and Jeannie are going to lead two teams in a little holiday style off. Tamara, <laughs> bust the rules. Okay, Lonnie and I will give you scenarios that you need to pick accessories for. You and your teammate will have 10 seconds to get dressed up on opposite sides of the wall. If you both pick the same look, you get a point. Mm -hmm. The most points win. Let's play Santa's Little Stylist. <laughs> yes! Okay, ladies, go to your respective sides. First up, Team Tamika! Hey! It's time to take your photo with Santa, so you don't want to forget this. Ready, Ready set, go! Let's see what you got. You're going to a winter wonderland wedding. So make sure you grab something old, mm -hmm. something new, uh -huh. something borrowed, uh -huh. and something ready, set, go! Come on out, girls! Come on out, ladies, and let's see if no. you pull off a Christmas miracle. Uh, you look fabulous, Adrian. So good. Right. You look gorgeous. Good. Ah, team That's team 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 here. Uh, it's only 12 days until Christmas, and you hope you get one of these. On the second thought, maybe five. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I did. Ah, oh, wrong one. But well, it's not natural. 
watching. This Miss landed you on the naughty list, both of y'all. I know. <laughs> oh, well, but okay. you look fab. Thank you, girl. OK, okay. Team Jeannie, chestnuts roasting on an open fire sounds good. Hey, girl. But while you're sledding down the hills, these will do. Ready, Ready set, set, go! <laughs> for all the marbles. Okay, Team okay. Tamika the marbles. is up to you. Team Tamika, you will definitely need this if all you want for Christmas is a kiss. Ready, set, go! Just one item. Just one item. One Just thing. One 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 thing. a lot of letters here at The Real, but this one struck a chord with me. Everyone knows I was raised by a single mom, and this time of year especially, I am so grateful for everything she has done for me. Well, this season is all about giving, and it's giving thanks to those you love, and that's what 15-year-old Victoria did. She wrote, Dear The Real, this year has been really hard on my family. After losing our home, me and my siblings were put into foster care. But my mom didn't give up, and she didn't let us either. She got a job, a new place, and finally, we are back together for Christmas. I just want to say, my mom is my hero. Everyone, meet Victoria and her amazing mom, Shauna, and her little brother and sister. Welcome to the real boo boo. <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Hi, you guys. So, Victoria, that letter was so sweet and heartfelt. What made you want to write that? Well, honestly, my mom is my best friend, and she's done so much for me. She's always been there when I need her. She's always my motivation. She's my support. She's my, like, A1 mom. And, like, you know, she could have, like, dug a bigger hole than where she, we were already, but she didn't. She didn't give up on us, and now she has us back. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Shauna, can you believe that your daughter wrote that letter about you? Oh. Yeah, like she said, she's my best friend. We have each other. I can't believe it because she's a very sweet girl. She's everything to me and also that this little too. I love <laughs> <laughs> kids will be kids. Let them be kids. Yeah. Come here. Well, Shauna, Christmas is right around the corner. What are your plans? <laughs> well, um, I didn't have my kids last year, so this year I'm going to enjoy my kids. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to enjoy Christmas together. Gonna get a big Christmas tree. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You come here, come here, come here, come, come here. You talk I to me. It. You know. <laughs> yes. Okay. How big you want the tree to be? Five. Okay, five feet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look, we at the real all wanted to bring you guys some Christmas joy. So we picked up a few things for the kids this Christmas. So look right over there and you'll see. We haven't forgotten Victoria. You're a dancer, right, Victoria? Yes, ma'am. Well, we have something for you. We have some ballerina shoes for you right over there. So go right over there. Oh, right my here. God. Right there. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. These are the tiniest. The ballerina shoes. We got you the whole outfit because we know you want to dance, so we got it for you, girl. We just couldn't hook up the kids, right, Victoria? because we have something for you. The Always Up Foundation has agreed to help you with your living expenses. Um, they're giving you $6,000 to help you with your living expenses. Oh, man. That's 500 a month, so it can take the edge off a little bit. I know, it's, it's hard this year. We're so proud of you. Yes. You keep doing your thing, okay? 
seriously. And he's enjoying that trip. <laughs> Life. Now, I don't think that there's anything better than a good Christmas surprise. Shauna, thank you so much for being here with your family. Yes. That's so beautiful. We hope you have the best Christmas ever. You guys definitely deserve it. Absolutely. Have a great time. The holidays are a beautiful time of year filled with joy and cheer and so much pressure to get it all done. You know how we can help relieve that stress? How? With some cash money, Adrian. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Someone in our audience will put their holiday knowledge to the test for a chance to win $1,000. Uh, yes! We teamed up with our friends at undergroundseller.com to bring you the very merry money drop. Here's how you play. We've got Tamar and Lonnie ready to grab two audience members who will go head to head with a little holiday trivia. And Adrian and Jeannie are over here ready to make it rain $1,000 on the first person to answer correctly. Sounds fun, yes. right? Yes! All right, let's find out who's playing. Tamar, who you got? Now, who wants to win $1,000? Money, Ooh, ladies. Yes. Okay, Latoya, what are your plans if you win? To help pay my college tuition. Oh wow! Oh. Okay. This is very, very responsible. Good. That's a very good answer. Tina, what do you plan to do with the money if you win? My parents have never been out of California, so we going on vacation, baby. Oh, okay. That's so thoughtful of you. Jeannie and Adrian are dying to make it rain. So today's theme is. Name that Christmas carol. Ooh, oh. you can do this. You can do that. this. Ooh, okay, ladies. Girl. Kelsey, no, you can do this. Okay, ladies. Are you ready to hit your buzzers? All right, there's just one question between you and $1,000. Are you ready? Yeah. Play the song, please. Oh, what's your answer? Jingle bells? for playing. You can't take the money, but what you can go away with is the real t-shirt. And trust me, it's priceless. Do you like that? Yes. All right.